So for the first time since 1979, the Amtrak Floridian is back. Well, sort of. All the information, all the facts and figures that you need to know, coming up right after this. We just received word that the Amtrak Floridian is making a return. It's going to be making a return on November the 10th. And what it's going to be is it's going to be Chicago to Miami, but it's going to be a little different than the old Amtrak Floridian that used to go through Louisville, Nashville, and Atlanta. What this one's going to be, it's going to be a combination of the Amtrak Silver Star and the Amtrak Capital Limited, which will be going away. So the last day to ride those in their form that they are right now is going to be November the 9th. Then November the 10th, they're going to be combined to make the full Chicago to Miami via Washington, D.C. route which is going to be known as the Amtrak Floridian. So the Amtrak Floridian is going to be 2,060 miles from Chicago to Miami. Um, it's going to be running on the single level Viewliner cars. So it's not going to be an upstairs. It's going to be just the single story Viewliner cars that currently run on the East Coast now. Train number 40 is going to be the Miami to Chicago route. It's going to leave Miami at 11.05 a.m. and arrive in Chicago at 8.45 a.m. Basically, two days later, it's going to be, it's set to be about 46 hours and 40 minutes. Obviously, minus any future Amtrak delays, that's what it's scheduled to be. And it's going to run about $113 for coach. And then heading southbound, train number 41 is how it's going to be labeled. That's going to be the Chicago to Miami route. It's going to depart Chicago at 6.40 p.m. and then arrive in Miami at 6.09 p.m two days later, so it's going to be 46 and a half hour trip approximately. Same price, $113 for coach for the dates that we kind of plugged in for just after November the 10th. One good thing is on the Capital Limited, which was Chicago to Washington, D.C., until recently that train has, has gotten rid of the traditional dining. It's only had the cafe car and like the flexible dining. So now they're going back to the traditional dining, which is going to be great because if you're getting a room, you get your dining included. So in the traditional dining, we're going to have, you're going to have, if you're taking the whole route for 46 hours, you're going to get several meals over the course of those two days. Um, you're going to have the traditional breakfast, which is going to be things such as the Amtrak Signature Railroad French Toast, which we all know is so good, the three egg omelet, and then just trip a typical uh, like a continental type breakfast as well. There's also going to be things available for children in the traditional dining, which will be, you know, things like grilled cheese, hot dog, mac and cheese. Um, then for lunch, they're going to have things such as that, the natural Angus burger, that Amtrak burger. Mm, so good. And then they also have the savory chili bowl, which comes highly recommended from many travelers. Then moving on to dinner, you know what's for dinner. If you are a fan of Amtrak, if you've traveled on Amtrak and had traditional dining, you know the two go-tos for dinner are that Atlantic Salmon and the Amtrak Signature Flatiron Steak. Those are like the two most popular dinner entrees. And then you also see there's kids' meals for dinner here. And then for dessert, there's going to be a chocolate spoon cake and a white chocolate blueberry cobbler cheesecake. I'm thinking about booking a train trip just to get that cheesecake. That sounds delicious. But also, don't fear if you're not staying in a private room, in a sleep, if you're not in one of the sleeper cars, don't worry. There's still going to be the typical Amtrak Cafe, which will have items for breakfast, like muffins and oatmeal and bagels and cream cheese. Um, you'll have sandwiches for lunch, such as turkey and cheddar, ham, Swiss, and honey mustard. There's salads. There's hot selections, such as the stromboli, the Angus cheeseburger, the grilled cheese, the mac and cheese, the hot dog. And at, during our Amtrak travels, we've had the stromboli, the cheeseburger, the mac and cheese, the grilled cheese, and the hot dog. And the only one we didn't really care for too much was the grilled cheese because the guy heated it up a little too long and the bread got a little chewy. But everything else we enjoyed. Um, and then the typical snacks on an Amtrak train, there's candy, gummy bears, popcorn chips, that kind of stuff. As well as spirits and cocktails, wine and beer, um, and regular non-alcoholic beverages. One tip that we always do is get a cup of ice when you're on the Amtrak. See, if you take your own drink and you ask for that free cup of ice, your drink is warm, you can just pour it in there and enjoy it cold, and it'll save you a little bit of money. So back to the Floridian. Like I said, the full dining is back. The Amtrak Floridian is back. And us being Florida residents, we couldn't be more excited to know that now we have the option of taking the Floridian 
from the Orlando area up to and what we'd have to do now is take the Silver Star or the Silver Meteor from Orlando to Washington, D.C., and then get off and switch trains in D.C. to switch to the Capitol Limited to get to Chicago. Now we're able to just take one train, one trip, without having to move our suitcases, unpack, check luggage, any of that stuff. You can just take one train from Miami all the way to Chicago. Hopefully it's a start. Some people are saying it's a temporary thing. Um, not sure exactly how long it's going to last or if it's going to make any alterations to it. Because as you guys know, the Amtrak news that came out with all the new routes and everything that are potential new routes um, that are being discussed by the federal government. So hopefully at some point we will get back that traditional Floridian line, which will go from Jacksonville to Savannah to Atlanta to Nashville to Louisville through Indianapolis area up to Chicago. That would be great to have that route back because I'd love to pick up Louisville and Nashville again and have an easier way to get to Atlanta from Florida without having to go up into the Carolinas and then cut back down. So that would be great. But it's very exciting news. Amtrak's got the Floridian back. Um, stay tuned to the channel because we actually have a trip already booked on the Floridian for later this year. So we will be giving you a little bit of the experience that we have on the Floridian. So if you like this video, hit that like button down below. If you know anybody who likes Amtrak travel, please share this video out with them. Leave us a comment down below. Are you excited about the new Floridian? I know we are because it gives us another option here in Florida. Another destination city we can hit without having to switch trains. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We'll see you on the rails. We'll see you on the road. We'll see you soon.